So let's look at this question. We have that y is equal to 1 plus cos 2x all over sine 2x. Show that dy dx is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus cos 2x all over sine squared 2x. So we have this. All right. So our question here is simply to prove that this um, the first derivative of y being equal to 1 plus cos 2x all over sine 2x is equal to what I'm given here. All right. So the tax will just be take y here and differentiate. If you're correct, at the end of the differentiation process, you should have um, this one here. That's um, this as your answer. That's, that's, that should be your answer. All right. So let's copy down y and try to differentiate this. All right. So we have that y is equal to 1 plus cos 2x all over sine 2x. Let's get this done. Um, just two key things you should note before we start this. And that's this, that if I differentiate, um, if y is equal to cosine ax, let's say ax, would have that dy over dx would be equal to, would have that dy dx would be equal to, if I differentiate ax, right, that's a number and x, that will give you a, that's that number. If I differentiate cos, I'll have minus sine. And then finally, if I differentiate, then repeat this, you now have ax. So you have ax, all right? You'd have this. In essence, this would be equal to minus a sine ax. This is something, it's an identity you should bear in mind, all right? So if it differentiates cos, cos of any number and x would be equal to negative of that number, then sign that number and x. That will be your final answer. Again, if you have that y is equal to sine, sine, let's say a number and x, right? From this, if I differentiate this, I will have that dy over dx or dy dx is equal to, first things first, if I differentiate a, which is this ax, right? Differentiate ax, that's a number and x, it should give you that number. Differentiate sine, you'd have cosine, that's cos. Also, then repeat this, you have ax. In essence, if I differentiate sine of a number and x, my answer will be that number cosine of that number and x, okay? These two identities have already been proven in our previous class, okay? But we, we need this concept to solve this question. All right, so bearing this in mind, let's see our question. So you're given that y, y is equal to 1 plus cosine, 2x all over this all over sine 2x okay and by the way these identities have already been proven in our previous class okay i'll leave a link in the video description on how to calculate this in full details okay so you can check the video description for a link to a video on how to get this um in full now by the way back to this uh okay back to this so for this question here which method do we use for this you can see that this term here is dividing this term here and we said whenever two terms are dividing we employ the quotient through differentiation so this question is on quotient rule for quotient rule we said let numerator be u and let denominator be v so i would say let u let u be equal to my numerator one plus cosine two x Let's get the UDX. Here, would have that the UDX differentiates U with respect to X. That will be equal to... Now, if I differentiate the constant, this, it should give you zero. Okay, so that one is gone. Now, if you differentiate cos 2X, what do we have? If you look at what I said earlier, I said if you differentiate cosine of a number at X, it gives you negative of that number, then sine that number and X. So, it becomes negative of this number. The number here is 2. So it becomes negative of 2, that's minus 2, sine of that number and x, that's 2x. This is what your answer would look like, okay? That's the dx. What about v? We have that v also, we have that v is equal to denominator sine of 2x. We we'll now have that if I differentiate v with respect to x, we'll have that dv dx is equal to now, I said if you differentiate sine of a number and x, it will give you that number, that's a, then cosine of that number and x. So it becomes the number here, which is 2. So that becomes 2, 2 um, cos, right? That, that, gives, that gives you cos. Yeah, that number and cos, 
then that number and x it becomes 2 cosine 2 cosine ax that's 2x so you have this all right so having got u d over dx v dv dv over dx let's now use quotient rule we're using quotient rule because the terms are dividing so using quotient rule if i use quotient rule the the formula of quotient rule is that dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over so this all over v squared so all over v squared all right bring in values this is equal to let's get v um v we said is equal to sine 2x so it becomes sine of 2x so v is sine 2x that's v into du dx du dx is this minus 2 sine 2x okay so that becomes du dx is so this is v into uh, du dx which is minus 2 sine 2x all right so v du dx minus minus let's get u uh, let's see going back to this u is equal to this 1 plus cos 2x so minus 1 plus cos 2x okay this is um minus u let's get the vdx into the vdx um the vdx is 2 cos 2x you can see here that's into 2 cosine 2x all right so you have this all right um this is my numerator you'll have all of this okay um so this all over let me zoom this a bit let me zoom this in okay so this one here all over so this all over this all over um so all of this all over v squared now v squared what's v v is sine 2x here so it becomes v squared v is sine of 2x that's v we said v squared that becomes this all squared all right so we have this okay let's try to expand this and see what we get this would be equal to first things first um minus 2 so you have sine 2x this multiplying minus sine 2x now if you have a multiplied by minus 2a this would be equal to minus 2 a multiplies a to give you a squared right so it becomes minus 2 of that thing squared and if that's true that means what we'll be having is equal to minus 2 okay into we said a squared so that thing there which in this case is sine 2x this all squared okay so that'll be your answer minus let's proceed we continue with this the first thing you have here is that okay in bracket so minus in bracket one one times two cos two x that gives you two cos two x because one times anything is that thing next up we have this sign here plus so that becomes plus you have two two cos you have cos two x multiplying two cos 2x okay so 2 becomes 2 into cos 2x times cos 2x gives you cos squared 2x okay so i have this as 2 into um cos 2x times cos 2x is actually cos squared 2x by the way that's what you get okay so you can look at this expansion very well right 1 times 2 cos 2x is 2 cos 2x plus cos 2x multiplying 2 cos 2x that becomes 2 cos 2x times cos 2x gives you cos squared 2x so you'd have this okay let's proceed with this um our first task would be expand this okay all over uh, before we forget all over so there's a denominator there that becomes all over all over all over v squared all over v squared which is this one here v sine 2x all squared right so if i do sine 2x all squared what you get is 
sine squared through x. That's your value when squared. All right, let's proceed with this. So this is now equal to, you have this as minus 2. You also have sine 2x all squared. Okay, that's this one here. Sine 2x all squared gives you sine squared um, 2x. Okay. Now, use negative to multiply this bracket. That becomes minus times 2 cos 2x gives you minus 2 cos 2x. So you have minus 2 cosine 2x. Next up. Minus multiplies this gives you minus 2. Next up, you have cos squared 2x. That's your numerator. All over. So this all over. Um, this way, okay. So this all over. For denominator, for denominator, you have sine squared um, 2x. All right, so this is now equal to, let's um, factorize numerator. If you look at the numerator, you have minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So if I bring out minus 2, I'll be left with, for numerator, I'll be left with, if I take off minus 2 from here, you'll be left with sine squared. Okay, let me use, um, run, let me use square brackets. If you take off minus 2x from there, you'll be left with, you'll be left with sine squared. 2x okay if you take off minus 2x here you will left it this will becomes positive so you'll be having plus cos 2x okay cos 2x take off 2 minus 2x from here you will left it positive so you have plus finally you now have cos squared 2x so you have cos squared 2x so you have this all right so all over this all over so this all over um sine squared sine squared 2x so you have this all right so from here how do we proceed next uh, if you look at this there's a trick function here that looks familiar record that um from trigonometry sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. If you choose to use 2x instead of x, would have that sine squared 2x plus cos squared 2x is still equal to 1. It's the same thing. So what that means is that I'll take the um, sine squared 2x and cos squared 2x um, to each other. So if I bring them close, if I bring them close, this will be equal to, so this will be equal to, what I have here is minus 2. I would have minus 2 into what I'll have here is sine squared 2x and then plus cos squared 2x. Minus 2 into sine squared 2x plus um, cos squared 2x. You'd have this. Okay. This, so we've taken this out. We've taken this out. We're left with this one here, which is plus cos 2x. So this into plus cosine 2x. We have this. So um, this one here, all over. So this one here, all over. Uh, let's do all over. I'm having sine squared 2x as my denominator. Sine squared 2x. So it becomes all over sine squared 2x now we've already said that cos squared 2x plus sine squared 2x is equal to 1 so i'm saying all of this here it's equal to 1 if that's true this would be equal to minus 2 into i'm having um excuse me if that is true i'll be having minus 2 into 1 okay 1 plus I'm left with cos 2x, so 1 plus cosine of 2x, this, all over, so all over sine squared 2x, that's um, sine squared, sine squared 2x. So basically, this would be the answer to the question. So we have that 
f prime of x or dy dx so this is the value of f prime of x so we have f prime of x as being equal to minus 2 plus cos 2x which is exactly what we are asked to find so that means we are correct okay all right if you enjoyed this video please don't forget or as always please hit the like button okay leave a comment tell us if you enjoyed this video also suggest other topics you want us to deal with okay if it's your first time of your or your if you're yet to subscribe please do want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload the new content and finally don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in the next class